24 by 4 inch high white board with a bit of grass turf seems to help them fidget less, look at the handler more and focus. You gradually increase the distance from which board so it's in four to the next place, to the next place board. But it gives the dog the chance to get his head up and give eye contact. Get helps with the sit and getting it on the stop whistle. Helps with hopefully a good delivery and retreat. Now, Tilly, the first time around, did this beautifully, but as this weekend's gone on, <laughs> I have to say, retrieving was she's getting a bit more playful because she knows she's having fun and you're all watching. But going out with great gusto, great enthusiasm to, to find it, coming straight back into Manny and hopefully onto the place for us. I love it, perfect. Don't overdo it, <laughs> just praise her. Very good, well, that was lovely. Just try a little retrieve in one of the uh, little rough patches here. Just show her jumping. She's just sort of socialised again. My name's Tilly and I'm the opening act at the game first. <laughs> now, go on, Missy. Off you go. That's her sister there, actually. She's saying hello to her sister. Well, if Tilly's going to be in socialising, then we'll, we'll, we'll have her back. Oh, no, no, she's coming. She's coming. Manny, who's a big rough, tough chap there, he has to be more appealing for her. And having that dummy, you should do the trick. Because with farmers, you've got to get the keen and retrieving at a young age. Anything and everything. Whether it be um, uh, some wings off a dead bird, whether it be a glove, a teddy bear, a furry tennis ball, whatever it takes. Because these dogs love to hunt, so you must get them keen on retrieving at a young age. That's lovely, Manny. Thank you very much. If you remove your baseballs, that's perfect. Tilly's just going to do a lap of honour. <laughs> if we can have Valerie out with Milo, and this is actually the brother. Very different in, in size, very different in temperament. He's actually a very gentle soul. And uh, he's um, a dog that uh, Valerie's now had a few plumpers in her time, and she um, works them on the shoot, which is to keep her a tight fit. She has a wonderful opportunity with her partner to uh, work the dogs there, but also to get them on scent and on the, on the birds at quite a young age. But this dog, as I say, first time in the ring this, this weekend. He did find it a lot of putting, but now he's getting into the swing of Going out once again with great flair, great gusto, picking up his dead rabbit, just thinking about it, but he is only eight months of age. And that's actually quite a big, heavy old rabbit dummy, that. And, um, but quite happy to come back to, to, to Valerie. You might be just looking at all the people that are behind you a bit, Valerie. Maybe move further forward away from this intimidating crowd of white compass that are behind you. And uh, he's a very sweet, honest dog, so I'm sure Valerie's going to do very well with him um, in the shooting field, but hopefully in competition as well. And uh, Valerie, in her time, has had many field trial awards with her compass and with her springers, but uh, Toddy, who comes with her sometimes, he's now seven um, and still very, very keen and very playful. And he must have had about seven or eight field trial awards in minor breeds, including a couple of first. He's just taking in all the little sniffs, he's just a little unsure. His tail's gone down, his head's gone down. Now he's back up again. So you do whatever it takes. That's lovely. Thank you much. Right. You do whatever it takes to get them keen and excited. It's only training at this stage, and it's all fun. So that's that's very nice. So we're going to have something a bit wild now. Um, wild and naughty, and I'm not actually talking about my husband, unfortunately. I'm actually talking about the dog, <laughs> which is Bliss. And Bliss, well, wild and naughty, and what did I say? Good to know. But she is actually, once John gets on top of her, going to be hopefully a very nice little dog to work over. Very keen retriever, very fast in her hunting, all goes to trouble already at a young age. And uh, she is a, a bitch that we've just recently had a uh, hip scored and come back as nine, it, it was zero, eyes are tested as clear, so something hopefully for the, for the future. But, uh, just giving John the run around now. But you can see, fast, happy to go out. These dogs aren't slow, lumbering types of dogs. These dogs are keen to do a day's work, are athletic enough to jump into the back of a four-wheel drive or to, to jump over a fence to get in a retrieve. 
They actually work as a more methodical pace than a spring or a cocker, once you've actually got them on the whistle and you've actually got your gun over your arm. But when they're running free, they can be just as fast as naughty as my spring or my cocker. But at the end of the day, they also have the stamina to do a full day's work. Whereas my spring or cocker, as much as I love them, and I enjoy working them, can burn themselves out a little bit quicker. And um, we pick up on big shoots on Exmoor, and we take out uh, clumbers with a lab or clumbers with a springer, and it's actually quite a nice combination. So that's naughty, naughty little bliss. But as I say, hopefully she's got a good future ahead of her working-wise. But uh, John and her are becoming the best of mates, um, but she does give them a little hand. So I think next we'll actually have um, Isla. So we'll show you that, um, she wants to be with Heidi. We'll show Isla, who is actually well behaved. We'll go with the other end of the spectrum. So if we could just have Isla, where's Isla hiding? Yeah, that's her there. And Isla actually <coughs> is a bitch, which uh, she had puppies only, um, oh gosh, uh, five and a half months ago. So she's just getting back into the swing of things again and hopefully this uh, shooting season she will be trialling again. Uh, she had a little bit of luck last year but um, we'll see how it works out this year. So this one is actually on the whistle but as I say she's my dog really. John's just picked her. So just showing that that's the scene retrieve that she had. Actually, she didn't see that one because she's busy saying hello to someone over there, so you've got a good blind out there. So, maybe go for the blind first. Ah. Don't undo my camera. Otherwise, I'll have to throttle them. Good girl. Now, as you see, when she comes back, when she's got dummy, she goes all playful and all puppy, puppy, puppy-ish. And, uh, but when she's got a game bird or a rabbit in her mouth, she's totally different. But as far as uh, dummies and things are concerned, she just thinks it's fun. You're going to trip over yourself. Sorry, that's me off pushing, but he's just doing a very good neck. He's well insured, but he's still going to do it because his leg's still coming out. So this is our, as I say, going out with great speed, great enthusiasm. And at the end of the day, that's what you want for the dog. You want, whether it be your spring or your puppy, your lab, whatever type of gun dog you enjoy, then that's what you want to do. And you want to become a team together. That would do, John, that would be lovely. You better last two of her before you trip over your lead yourself. There you go. So, we'll have Jim out, I think. Jim's looking to pretty chilled and relaxed there. So we have him out with Bolt. Bolt is only uh, 13, 14 months of age. And Bolt is a dog that hopefully once again Jim may be getting involved in competition with some tests and trials. But his main aim in life really is to go out rough shooting. He does a fair amount of wild fowling as well. He lives in Kent. And um, now he's actually got uh, three beautiful plumbers. Um, always been more with his cockers and he's actually got a golden retriever. So he has a mixed kennel. So he knows what he enjoys of working dogs. but. Uh, Plumbers start to get onto your skin, really. I mean, we have a, a mixed kennel. We've got uh, springers and cockers and labs, which we love. But uh, it's quite nice just having something a little different, this rare breed, and, you know, to keep them established in the, in the shooting field. So the Working Plumbers Family Society tries to hold different events up and down the country. And we have a training day. Oops, anyone got a pistol? Lovely. Hopefully no one's gun shy in the audience. I've got to ask that. We will be fine in the But the Working Plumbers Manual Society has these different events up and down the country. And from simple fun days as we did recently with a gathering at Gatcombe Park with Her Royal Highness, Princess Anne, who's our president, we had a training day and scurry and a barbecue. So lots of fun for people to come along to and get involved with. But we then have more serious days, whether we are getting involved with mock field trials, shooting live game days and training, or having the opportunities on some very nice estates and very nice farms to have days where we organise eight guns and they can bring their clumbers on peg, or we'll have the clumbers in the picking up team or the clumbers in the beating line. 
So we have these opportunities up and down the country, which is rather nice. That's lovely. Thank you very much, Jim. Uh, Mark, where are you, Mark? You're looking too cozy. Loxley looks too relaxed as well. <laughs> Loxley, you're on. This is your moment. Good luck. So we have Loxley here. And Loxley actually um, is Mark's first number, and he's done extremely well with his first number. He um, went into the field spaniel trial last year, and he had a, a first in the field spaniel trial. He's just started getting involved in a few tests, and uh, he's actually been running an A-B test as well. Throws a bit like a girl, though, I'm afraid that it's done it. Even I could have done better than that. And uh, he's getting a lot of pleasure from this dog. But he's living in a lovely part of the country. He's up in Yorkshire, so he gets chances to go out rabbiting. Um, and of course, these dogs, if you do get them on heather, etc., they do look lovely on the on the grass moors as well. And uh, they're an all-round spaniel as long as you've trained them as any type of spaniel. And don't make exceptions by saying, "Oh gosh, it's just a clumber." You know what do you expect? No, it's spaniel. You train it the same as you do your Springer or your Cocker. They do take a little longer to mature. Um, they can be a little stubborn and they are definitely scent orientated. So if you've got a dog that is um, suddenly, you know, just dwindling and slowing down and just not going at a, a great pace, then you need to get onto the scented ground. Or if, you know, they're looking bored, you need water, what they're doing with your training. But keen retriever, a nice delivery with, with Loxley, which is, which is lovely. He's had his summer hair cut there. So we're sending for that one. And are you going to do one over the jumps, Mark, did you say? Yes. Okay, we'll have one over the jumps with Loxley. So, just the uh, shot again, nicely on the shot. You can see the discipline that Mark has put in, a lot of time and effort with his training. But you make it fun, you make it enjoyable. And you be, as I say, you become a team and uh, you get the rewards from it. Now, Loxley hasn't forgotten that dummy over there. He's casting an eye over on that dummy. Wondering if he's going to be sent for that. Yes, you are, Loxley. I'm just looking at my little crowd here. They're all looking very relaxed to see who I'm going to pick next. Could be Chris. <laughs> Could be Chris. And then I think after that, we might just have to have two. That would be very nice. Everyone else, you can just chill for a moment because I haven't called your name. It doesn't mean to stay, you're out of it yet. <laughs> so, the Working Clumber Spaniel Society, uh, as I say, was formed back in 1984. And uh, we are quite proud that we've actually got to our 30 years now. And uh, we've got various events organised for this year. So if anyone wanted to come and see these dogs working, we could arrange for you to come possibly and shoot over the dogs or possibly to come to one of our events and watch them. It's always better to watch them actually on a shooting day, um, possibly more so than anything in a field trial, because of course the, the discipline and the rules, some of the dogs are sometimes out for a misdemeanor where, you know, shooting day, you'll see a whole round potential of what the dog can do. Nicely jumped over, no hesitation. That's lovely. So we're gonna have Chris in, I think, with Boots. Boots is gonna come in. And Boots, just here, is coming in on the left-hand side at this moment of time, is um, a dog that actually also has some trial awards to his name. But once again, he's up from Yorkshire, and, uh, or down from Yorkshire, which is where we want to go. And uh, Chris, again, works his dogs mainly. He likes to get out rough shooting and do some picking up with his dogs. Now, Boots is sort of looking at this as sort of dummy. Why am I doing dummies? He'd much rather be starting... Thank you very much, Father. Sorry. He'd much rather be starting out uh, the season and start picking up. Well, very shortly, a lot of our dogs will start um, helping keepers on estates and pushing the, dogs, uh, the birds back and start dogging in, which is a nice way of getting them fit before the season starts. And then a lot of us start picking up in September on partridge. And uh, then the dogs are at their happiest, really, as they're working. Now, they were said that these clumbers were sent over by a, a French duke faced in the guillotine. This is how the story goes, whether it's true or not. And then they ended up at Clumber Park, and that's, of course, where they took their name. And eventually, they snuck out to various estates up and down the country. And uh, 
is quite proud to say that even the royalty have problems these days. And uh, there's a lovely book out, a very historic book called The King's Dogs. And in that beautiful book, you'll see the kennels from Sandringham with lots of Labradors, but with lots of beautiful ponies. And uh, you look back on some of the history books that are out there and some of the lovely paintings, whether it be a Maud Oil or a John Ends, and the type of dogs that are sitting behind me here today, you'll certainly see in those paintings. So it's taken many, many years to get to that situation, but when you look at the white and lemon dogs here and the dogs with the lovely kitchen spots on their head, you know, that nearly died out. But that, I'm proud to say, you know, is in those lovely paintings and that's looking like these dogs. So it's been quite a pleasure to be able to do all this. And as I say, it's taken the society many years and our members who are very keen. Now, what's going on down there? Chris is doing the jumps. Are we caught up with a retrieve? Is it caught on the branches down? No, we're hunting, we're hunting, we're moving. We're moving and doing. That's lovely. So he's just uh, hunting through. That obviously got caught up, which it does occasionally. Gonna jump over. You're just trying to knock the cameraman over, aren't you really, Chris? That's lovely with Boots, thank you very much. So we're gonna have Jim come in. And then if I could have uh, Mark and uh, myself with Titus. And we will have uh, Jim back in in a minute with a different dog. And uh, we'll just hold on here a moment, Mark, for a second. We'll just let uh, Jim just do a little retreat there with Lily. Once she's had the moment to water the grass. And Lily here is an older bit. She's um, had a couple of litters of plumber pups. She's been an absolute sweetie. And Jim's first plumber. And uh, she's actually, once again, a dog that's sort of looking at him. What am I doing in this ring today? Surely it's Susan started. But she's a, a lovely example of a very handsome plumber bitch. Well mustered they are, the last of the, uh, the, the Spaniels. And uh, sometimes I like to think that possibly people may think of, they may have always had springers and coppers and may think of something a little different and think about having a plumber next time. She's sort of coming in scale for heaven's sake. It's a dry old canvas stomach. No, we're not going to accept that. He kicks it out to hand, Missy. That's better. That's better. Good girl. So she has one more retrieve, I believe? Two. Two more, please. Now she's just working. I don't know how the scenting of the wind's going in here today, but uh, it's been a bit tricky yesterday. It was so hot and so dry, but today is an improvement. And there is a little bit of a breeze, so it should help us all a little bit today, even though it is muggy. But thank goodness we're all dry. So we have another retrieve for Lily. Lost her there. Just trying to throw that into the crowd. That one's very good, thank you. We're going to see with uh, Chris. Did you want to walk in the line up just on the walk down? We're going to do, um, what we're going to do is I'm going to hand you over to David Brown, who's one of our members. We've got a very nice young plumber at home too, who's chilling out <laughs> today. And uh, he's got Kingsley. So uh, we're going to walk down in a, in a line to here with some dogs off the lead, four of us. And, and uh, we are then going to have shot five and then um, so four retrieves. We're going to do a bit of a warm top shoot here. Imagining that rather than a warm monkey day in July, it's a brisk, chilled autumn morning. So our dogs are going to walk up. There is some game on the ground. There's Titus having a, uh, a scent. He'll be lucky if he finds something in here. And we've got Dave at the front there, who hopefully will find some birds flushed. 
and with a bit of luck, we'll shoot some of them. So two shots, two birds. Well done, Dave. And third bird, bird. Fourth bird. So the dog's nice and steady to the shot. So Debbie's going to send Titus. He anticipated that a bit, but um, he sent in the dummy now. Titus is an 11-year-old dog, but as you can see, looking very fit, healthy and active. Run straight over the dummy, Titus, there. Good lad, good lad. Well done, Ty, 11 years young. Who's taking the next retreat? So Jim's just going to send Bolt for a second retreat. Bolt's a young dog, about 14 or 15 months old. Just getting a bit distracted. There's been too many other dogs, too many bitches in here. Bolt's getting a bit uh, excited as a young dog. Jim just settling him up. And sending him out again. Good lad, Bolt. Good lad. So these dogs are very driven by scent and um, difficult conditions in the arena today, but um, they're doing well here. And Chris with Boot. Boot, a more experienced dog. He's taken Route 1 straight to the dummy. And he's deciding who he'll go back to. He doesn't like the look of you, Chris. Good lad, Boot. It's a hot day, you've done well. And last Mark will send Loxley 